Well, we'll continue with our focus on the report by Amnesty International. And again, we'll be going over to Abuja. Mark Bay. Well, thank you again, Chamberlain. I have with me here Brigadier General Rabbi Abubakar, who is the Director for Defense Information, Acting Director for Defense Information. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much, Daily. Madam. Thank you. Well, you've listened to the allegations of Amnesty International. They're pretty grave and they're pretty serious. But all you've done is deny the allegations. Why is that? Well, um, thank you very much for taking time to reach us to clear some very important issues that has to do with the security of this uh, great nation. Um, Amnesty, if you recall, is not the first time they are you know, fabricating this kind of uh, 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 information or report, so to say. And uh, from the security point of view, that Nigeria um, is bigger than any other individual or group. And the most important thing in a country is the security protecting security of lives and property. That comes first. It is only when you achieve that that any other thing takes place. Come back to what you have just asked me. Um, as I said earlier, on, this was the first time, this was the second time. So it's like they have formed an opinion that suggests um, to mean siding the non-state actors above the state actors. Because you can allege, or you can say that the military, the armed forces, who are trained, who are given the opportunity to serve the nation in this capacity, to protect lives and property, which we have been doing uh, to turn you know, our guns against our brothers, our sisters. So the list, that report, or such report, I think uh, that is a missing link and is not the true um, reflection and activities <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me, as enshrined in our constitution. Well, General, you know that there have been <coughs> allegations even before Amnesty International yeah, yeah, came well, out with its own report. Yeah, yeah. There have been allegations that the military has been high-handed uh, with, no, no, with its treatment of, for instance, uh, IPOB you see, let, protesters. Let, there have been, there have been allega those allegations have existed um, before Amnesty International yeah, brought out uh, some Madam, report. Madam, what, what I'm trying to say is this. Yes. You see, uh, we're, we're taking a very dangerous uh, you know, um, uh, step by trying to politicize uh, the security apparatus in this country. And that is a very dangerous trend, and I will repeat it anywhere, because I'm not talking about the IPOP or any other group, mm -hmm. but the security of this nation is so paramount, not only to security agencies who are, scheduled, who are settled with such responsibility of um, executing such uh, activities, but to the nation, to Nigerians, and those who are domiciled in this country. As I said, security is number one thing that you can never close your eyes at. You How has it never. been politicized? Yeah, because of why should um, why should you burn your house or set your house ablaze in anticipation of getting another one tomorrow. Why, must you, why, why don't you, as a citizens, as captured in the constitution of this great nation, that everybody, all Nigerians, have a duty, you know, to contribute meaningfully to this country? Well, General, I then believe, why, why must, why I must believe somebody... you, you use those terms figuratively, but what I'm asking is <clears> this. Before now, before Amnesty International came out with this report, there have been allegations that the military has been high-handed in terms of how it's treated protesters, especially IPOP no, protesters no, no, in the southeast of the see, country. Is that true or false? Let, it's completely out of place. It's false. False in the sense that in the, in the 
and the security hierarchy of this nation, their allies. Okay? We, as military, operate at the last line of defense. So there are other defenses before you come to the military. But notwithstanding, they are notwithstanding. The most important thing is, if there is a quantum of insecurity anywhere in this country, not only in the, in the southeast, okay, there must be airports that will contain uh, such quantum of uh, security situations. Have and that's, that's what, what, what we do. So you, you can now um, discover that in the course of doing this, thing, we go in, in jointly because of what? To ensure that each and every service gives its own special, specialized you know, uh, uh, contributions to how to quench any insecurity threats. Have you seen, you, you understand? Have, have you seen so, any of the videos that Amnesty International has you, posted? You see, I mean, because they, they seem to support this um, with video evidence. How, how, okay, how, were, were they there? That's the question you will ask. Were they there? Are you denying reports of the video? Look, do you in, think in the, the videos this, are concocted? Yeah, you, you see, in, in this era of ICT, I am a, uh, I'm a, an expert in communication. You understand? In this era of ICT, anything can be done to achieve your own purpose. Okay? You can, do, you can crop up anything for you to, to, to arrive at certain conclusion which you want to, people to believe. And that's what I believe Amnesty is doing. I'm not... You, you see, we, in, the, in the military, um, we are taught so many things. Have you seen the video? I have seen the video. You think we, that we, video was concocted? Honestly speaking, I will not... With, from my heart, that video is not a video that showed or captured the activities of the military or other security agencies in Nigeria. However, this kind of thing... Uh, last, last year, they, 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 they posted in uh, some videos, I don't know that you saw, you watched it, where, uh, you know, uh, bodies of decomposed human beings were posted in, and it claimed that these are Nigerian soldiers, you, you understand, murdered citizens. But at the end of the day, what happened? Th those pictures were the occurrences in... Uh, in, in other countries, not only not, not just Nigeria, it's not it, it was it didn't take place there. But we're looking... So, so, so you, you you can imagine how the the the, the, the cropping can aid you or any other person to come up with anything you want to achieve using crop style of concocting, you know. Uh, photographs. We're speaking and more specifically of a video that Amnesty International posted on its website. Yeah, I, if I, I, if I the it. military has any issues with the video, don't you think that the right thing for them to do will be to investigate and you know find we, out the we, source of the video to see if we, truly their men did we, anything of the sort? We we subjected such videos to forensic analysis. And what was your you, finding? You, you, are, you understand. And I'm telling you, the, ana the analysis indicated that. These things was not even done in Nigeria. Just like I the, the I pop protests yeah. were done in Nigeria. No, no, no. It, it, can, it can be corrupt. I, I said it can be corrupted, madam. I'm not. I'm not saying this thing didn't take place here. Most of these pictures we are seeing. I'm telling you. Let, pictures... let's leave, okay, let's leave Amnesty International. Mm. Yes, we're having this conversation because of the allegations that Amnesty International has made. What, what are, but let's leave Amnesty International. What, what out are of saying? Before let, now, let General, me, just a moment. Okay. Before now, there have been protests. There have been, you know, complaints by ordinary Nigerians that the military has been high-handed in terms of how it handles uh, civilian matters, especially when it comes to protest. One of the situations that readily comes to mind is the IMN protest that happened in Kaduna uh, when they refused passage to the chief of. Uh, army staff. Now, you know, there were casualties from that particular um, encounter, as it were. Did now, you see the casualties? Did you just pass that? Let's no, not I, go there. There have been allegations. Allegation, yeah. Those allegations oh, that, that, have been verified that people did die. The state government did, you know, set up an inquiry into it. There were proof that people did die. And we're taking the, we're taking the, we're taking the, but, the judicial panel at its word. But let us, you know, move away from that. People have said that the military has been high-handed in terms of how it handles the protests. And going by some of the history we've seen in terms of how the military has handled protests in the past, people are inclined to believe it. Are you dismissing all of no, those no, allegations? No, no, no. You see, you see in, in, in operation, yes. you understand, it's different from a normal day-to-day, -day, you know, activities. You understand? Nobody 
above the law. And nobody can constitute himself to be a law that cannot be checked. We operate on three things. Uh, rule of engagement, okay? rule of law, and most importantly, operational, uh, um, operational procedures. We have all these three sets of uh, laws that guide our activities. And whatever, whatever we do as security agencies, we do it to the best interest of this country. So if that, you, is, you this, if that is the situation, and, and, nobody and is we, denying that, uh, we General. Are, we, well, if, if that even is if in an operational situation where there are casualties, casual, where people die as a result of the, the operations that are carried out, are there investigations to find out whether or not the military was high-handed in terms of how it handled certain operational movements, for instance? We, 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 we always do it. We always do it, madam. We do, always do it. Do, let, you, do let, you think a denial... Let, will, let, 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 me, let me say this thing. Yes. You understand? Um, we are talking on so many things now. We are bringing the issue of amnesty, which we, we, I'm, I'm coming here for. Yes. You understand? The amnesty report is completely, honestly, to say the least, is fabricated. And the military's high command, you know, cannot... You, you, see, you see, people just come out and, and paint a scenario. If you have anything that you want to achieve, please... You should not in any way meddle into the security aspect. And more so, international non-governmental organizations have three things in, uh, uh, to observe in any country they're operating. One of which is neutrality. You must be neutral in your operations. You must be, you must be seen, you know, to be, to be not taken side. And you must, in, you must not in any way, you know, meddle into the political or security aspect of that country. If you cannot assist it, Okay, to move forward or to, be, to remain stable, then do not. I have never heard where, with all what we have done to this country, okay, why not saying people should come out and dance for us? But no, but what you are saying is, I have never seen where amnesty ever said Nigerian armed forces have tried to stabilize this country. Well done for that. But what it is only out to achieve, because of the reason best known to them, is to say, is to keep saying, who keep accusing us of one thing or the other. And which human rights group last year, they were with us. Even this last two weeks, they were there. We always, you know, reach to, to ourselves. Whatever they observed, we implement it. And that's why we created human rights desk in all our formations and, and, and operational areas. The essence is for us to check anything human rights abuses. Do you within, see, within do you us, see and Amnesty we International do. as an antagonistic body when for the military? Speaking, I say the least, it is. It, it is. Is because that the it reason? is operating within, within, I mean, it is operating beyond its bound. Beyond its bound in the sense that it does not reach to other uh, stakeholders. You cannot come, come, put your report, and then watch it, and then present it to whoever you want to present it to, and you think this, in, uh, this report is holistic. They say they always reach out to you, that they always send their reports but to I have you just, I have for, just, for I have, any I have just I have just mentioned human rights group in Nigeria. They reach us even last... last uh, Two weeks they were in defense headquarters, hosted by the two of defense staff, uh, General Olonu Shakin, and they came with so many myriad of uh, issues, one of which is the issue of dismissed soldiers. Are you okay? saying? Which we, which we discussed, and we informed them the decisions of the, of the, of the high command, and they all understood with, with us. General, so are, why you didn't, saying, why didn't, are, you, are you saying that, the, that Amnesty International doesn't reach out to the Nigerian they military? Don't, they do not. Because they say that they reach out to the Nigerian military with their findings before they eventually but, publish. But, but, but you see... You see um, General, I'm, I'm afraid if you answer that question, we will return from this okay. break. They, do stay with us. They don't, 